Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, stepper motors. But before we do that, if you've been building uh, animatronic figures, you're probably familiar with these guys. These are step or these are servo motors and usually controlled by a uh, servo motor controller. You just vary the amount of degrees on here. You can set it to whatever you want. And uh, it's a pretty good little device for testing servos when they're in a unit or just stand alone. But what I've been using lately are these guys. This is a stepper motor and it's got four wires that control it. But I haven't really found a stepper motor tester like a servo motor has. So um, what I'd like to do is um, have one so that I could put this in my animatronic and just slowly test it out for uh, the actual code is sent to the motor to make it work. So what I designed is a stepper motor tester and that's what I'm going to show you in this uh, video. So stay tuned. Okay, let's take a look at this uh, stepper motor tester that I uh, designed. Uh, this is something I 3D printed and uh, it's got a back on it. You just screw it in here and uh, it is uh, labeled with my Cricut. I just made a label up on that and stuck that on there. I have three potentiometers that I took off an old stereo. A couple switches off some old parts as well. And uh, I've got uh, two wires coming out, coming in and out of it. This wire here goes to a wall adapter. It's a uh, 12 volt. 500 milliamp um, wall adapter that I just took off another device that I didn't use and it provides 12 volts for this whole unit and then out of here is four wires that go to uh, for, for a connector uh, for the um, stepper motors and um, I know all stepper motors don't have the same wiring out but I've been using these guys a lot they're pretty consistent with the way they're wired so I just went ahead and tried um, putting a generic one on there that's been working for all my motors so far so uh, I'll just show you how this guy looks on the inside so when you open it up I've got uh, three main parts here I've got my 12 volts coming in and it goes to this buck converter so 12 volts here the 12 volts get split and it goes into here as well as to this um, little um, stepper motor driver and um, it provides 12 volts directly to the motor and uh, it also provides uh, 5 volts when it comes through here it gets converted to 5 volts which provides uh, power for the electronics on this guy as well as the Arduino Nano. So uh, those are the three parts. Uh, in the future, I probably would have moved this around or made it a little bit larger so I could put um, one of my switches, the switch that's on top here, uh, I wanted, kind of wanted to put it right there. That would have been a little bit better. Uh, it's also got a main power switch and uh, that's pretty much it. So let me just put this back together here and just show you how it works. Now, I have to apologize on that the greatest uh, Arduino coder. Still learning quite a bit. Um, so I don't know how to code too much for for these guys but I have got a system that's working like I said I haven't been able to find something online that controls all three of these things for one of these uh, as well as I can just have the motor go left and right when I want it to so these generic uh, controls all have numbers on them from 0 to 9 um, so I will just use those and go with it so basically what you want to do with this setup is First, make sure that your position potentiometer is in the middle, so that's around a four for me. That would mean that this, mo this motor is going to start off kind of somewhere in the center. And I've turned my steps right down to uh, close to zero, so that means that it's around 200 steps for the sketch that I have on here. So that means 200 steps for this guy would mean a complete rotation, so only one rotation. So I just start off small. And then I've got my acceleration quite low, so it's barely going to turn uh, um, for speed uh, at all. And what you want to do is you want to turn power on and then turn power to the switch on. So just wait like a second or two for the Arduino Nano to kick in. If you had them both on at the same time, this tends to move a little bit and I don't want that to happen. So turn power on, uh, then power to your stepper motor and now if I turn this left that should turn left 
And if I, uh, and it's turning in, in not only steps, but they're increments that I have in the sketch so that it doesn't vibrate back and forth. And if I go the other way, it'll turn right around to the other side. And like I said, it's on very slow acceleration right now. Let's go back to there. And then let's uh, just speed it up a little bit. All right. Okay, so let's play with this a little bit. Let's increase the steps. Let's go the other way. It's not working exactly the way I would hope, as much control, and sometimes it stutters. So if somebody can help me out online, that'd be awesome. We can keep the whole setup and then just change the sketch to something that works a little bit better. So, um, yeah, that's my controller. So this is a really good temporary tester until you get the sketch loaded in. So you can see it's stopping before it'll go back to where I set it to. They'll get to one point first and then move to where you set, set the potentiometer to. Anyways, uh, that's my first uh, stab at this. Um, we'll test it out in my IG-11 head that I'm building right now with three of these guys and uh, see how it goes. Thanks a lot for watching uh, and I uh, uh, hope you stick around for the thought for today and we'll see you real soon.